do it. The day after the day after, maybe some emotion from the game is over. But really, like for me, the game's over. I don't really have a lot to say about what happened on Sunday, but I have a lot to say about what's going on with the team and how we feel about it going forward. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut to the chase. And obviously leftovers from the game and everything else, but like my biggest concern right now with this team is Jalen Hurts. I know the defense stinks. I know the defense stinks. I know the defense isn't gonna be isn't gonna be good. It's not gonna be a strength. I can hope I hope my hope is it can be average to slightly below average. But Jalen Hurts right now, the way that he's playing, I have major concern. Cause the only way this team is getting to a Super Bowl, is winning an NFC championship game, is winning a Super Bowl is if we see the same Jalen Hurts that we saw last year in the Super Bowl leading up to the Super Bowl. He was dynamic. He was a dual threat. He was confident. He was able to throw the football like a lot of people thought he wouldn't be able to throw the football. If he wasn't the best quarterback in football, he was right there with with the best quarterbacks in football. I'm not seeing that player this year. And more importantly, he he exhibited ball security. He looks totally different this year. Yeah, what did he have, nine turnovers last year total? You, you didn't. You didn't. It seems like there's a fumble every week. Uh-huh. He doesn't have the same interception numbers, and I'm less worried about that. He doesn't have the most turnovers in in football, or he's uh, right there. He's certainly up in the top three, I believe. Right, he's right there. So we're talking about the Super Bowl, and I'm not saying that Jalen Hurts is, is garbage. I'm not saying that that they need to get a new quarterback or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But for the Eagles to make the Super Bowl and to win the Super Bowl and to turn the season around, we need a much different Jalen Hurts than we've seen of late, and really like. He's played well at times this year, but he hasn't been consistent and he hasn't played well enough. So I am concerned about Jalen Hurts. I'm concerned about his play because really, like, that's what the Eagles need. They need him to turn back in to the Jalen Hurts that we thought we were getting and we thought we had this year. Yeah, listen, you you said a lot uh, there, a mouthful. Um, there, there is some concern there with Jalen. I guess it would be how much concern is there with Jalen. I, I don't know how anybody – could say that they're they have no concerns with the way that he's playing. Uh, you hit on a couple things that I can certainly agree with. You know, talking about the Eagles, you know, achieving their ultimate goal, which is winning the Super Bowl. Yeah, he needs to look more like last year's Jalen Hurts as opposed to what we've saw this year. And I'm speaking primarily about taking care of the football, decision making, things of that nature. Like that's where he needs to take his game, and get it back to that level where he was at last year. From a physical standpoint, I'm, I'm sort of okay with, with some of the things uh, that he's doing. You certainly need to get off to a faster start. But I'm having a difficult time figuring out how much of it is him not executing, not operating at a high level versus, well, what are we asking him to do? What are we asking of this offense? Are we putting him in position to be successful early, to get into a rhythm? You know, we talk about, you know, how offensive coordinators can get their quarterback comfortable by calling plays, by having play designs that allow them to operate at a high level. Is that what's happening? Are we seeing enough of that? Or is it that Jalen isn't seeing the field as well as he did last year? Is he locking in on A.J. prior to the ball even snapping, predetermining where he's, he's going to go with the football? And then when you can't go there, now you're scrambling. And I don't mean scrambling physically. I mean scrambling mentally, trying to figure out where you want to go with the football. Is that part of the problem? And that's what I'm not absolutely sure about. I'm seeing a little bit of both. I really am. I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of, man, all right. <laughs> The game plan, what we come out with, you know, sometimes it's okay, and then we only get field goals out of it. Like, I didn't have a problem with the first two series we had against San Francisco. We moved the ball down the field with no problem. We just didn't score. Well, is that play design or is that execution of the plays? Last week, you you can't have your opening drive end in a fumble like that. It really is deflating to a team that's coming off a tough loss already. You do that. So he spoke about this, playing better, being able to be a source of energy and and inspiration and motivation for his teammates. He hasn't been playing inspired football for the last two weeks. Now, here's what I'll say, and I'll let you go. 
there's enough there for me to still give him the benefit of the doubt, meaning I've seen him do this enough already that I know it wasn't a fluke. It's in him. It's there. But he got to get out of whatever funk he's in right now and get back to doing that. The 10 and 1 wasn't a mirage. Right. And I'm not going to live off of that. The 10 and 1 was not a mirage. They beat these teams. And I'll say it again. Give me the team you're impressed with and give me that team's resume. Let me see who that team beat. Yeah. Let me look at their schedule. Let me see where they went on the road, who they beat. Just give me the team you're impressed with. We're going to be fair about it. We're going to judge them up against the standards the Eagles have played up to. By the way, number one strength in schedule this season. They've yep. beaten the most teams with five, plus 500 record. Five and two against teams with a winning record. More than anybody else. No, like, I, we, we, can't, we can't just say it didn't happen. Yeah, the 10 and one's real. I, I don't think it's like the Steelers when everybody saw the Steelers and said, right. man, they are not a 10 and 0 team, a 10 and one team. Mm-hmm. And, and they ended up not being. I, I didn't. I, and that I don't, team wasn't coming off a of plan in the Super Bowl. No, it's another good point. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think this team's a fraud, but also during that period when they were coming back and they were winning games in the second half and they were turning mm-hmm. the ball over, you can only say so many weeks and so many times this is going to come back to haunt them in these bigger games against these tougher teams because then they can, they continue to win that way in the first three games of this gauntlet. Yeah. They came from behind. Last two weeks, the sloppy play and the defense has yeah. cost them. They lost Straight two up. games. They're 10-3. Yep. and three. yep. Plenty of time to turn it around. Plenty of time. Plenty of time to turn it around. Three. Um, but what you said about like Jalen just doesn't look comfortable back there, and when he's not comfortable, he's not confident. And when Jalen's confident on the field, man, you know it. You do. He throws the ball. He runs the ball. He's got the defense on their heels. That's not happening right now. And I went back and I watched. Not trying to make too much of the game on on Sunday night, but I went back and I watched you know, probably like second and third quarter of that game. His feet aren't set a lot of times. Like he's. He is worried about the rush. He's kind of backpedaling or he's stepping back as he's throwing the ball. The pocket presence when he was injured, when he had the knee injury, where where everybody agreed that it was affecting him. Well, he couldn't run. He could run. Yeah. It was the best he threw the ball all year. Mm-hmm. Where he wasn't running the ball. He was sh- he was moving around in the pocket. The pocket presence. I remember commenting on the show. He's also played better defenses. Okay. He's two of the top total- defenses in the league. Totally fair. Totally fair. He just he doesn't look comfortable no, right now. That's true. That, that's that's facts. That's factual. Yep. 215-592-9494. Your level of concern on Jalen Hurts right now, Ike Reese, is a mo- uh, moderate, severe? Yeah, I would go with moderate. I would go with moderate. I'm definitely not severe. Um, and this week, I'm actually excited because this is a week that he can get healthy. And I mean from a confidence standpoint, mental standpoint. You know, playing against this Seattle defense – they're going to be opportunities for him to make plays. They're going to be opportunities. Seattle has one of the worst passing defenses in the league. They also give up 24 points a game. So take the over in this game. <laughs> both, both both of these teams are in the bottom third in yards per game given up, pass defense, and points per game. Yeah, they both don't have good defenses. <laughs> so you saw what Brock Purdy did to Seattle's defense this past Sunday through for 368 yards. So this could be a, a let's get good game yes. for the Eagles offense. All right. Yes, and that's back to back weeks. They gave up uh, yardage to Dallas, and then gave it up to uh, San Francisco. Hmm. Yes. All right. To the folks, Jack Fritz, uh, concern level with Jalen Hurts right now. Well, it's been a lot less of like big explosive plays. It seems like for this offense, like, it feels way more methodical than it did last year, where it's like okay, they got to go ten plays to get down the field rather than bang. Here's one of these long long passes. Bang, they're they're kind of down the field. It's looked more to me like he's he's middle of the road rather than than special. And and like I think he's a quarterback that you win with. It's not like he's a bad quarterback. I don't want to say he's a bad quarterback. But how great is he? And I think that's what is being brought in question for me is how great is Jalen Hurts. I never thought he was like an unbelievable quarterback. I thought there was a lot of what was happening around him. And now you're seeing it not be as great around him. And it's kind of taking a well, step. You've never back. been fond of him. This is this is your yeah. this is your I told you so moment. How much more have I told you so is all yes. I gotta get yeah, out of yeah, I know. I'm just saying I can hear it in your voice. Well, it's just like, you know, I mean, I don't know <laughs> I why everyone why is everyone so surprised? Like I don't know why. Well, Jack, so you're surprised. you're acting like he didn't outplay Pat Mahomes in the Super Bowl last year. I don't care, I don't care about but that. Sorta. I know you don't I know but, you don't but, care Mahomes about it. Mahomes was great in that game. I mean, like Nick Foles outperformed Tom Brady if he so was doing that. Yeah. 
Do you, do you want to say that Nick, Nick Foles is better than Tom Brady? Yeah, but Nick no. Foles didn't. Nick, Nick Foles wasn't <laughs> the starter <laughs> last year no, and, and wasn't number two in the MVP. Yeah. I don't, yeah, think, no, I don't think anybody's saying Jalen's better than Patrick Mahomes. I, I a lot of people I, were saying Wade that. Said disagree. That. There was a lot of that conversation. <laughs> I never said that. It's better than him in that Super Bowl. Yeah, but even, like, Mahomes also really good. They, the ball didn't touch the ground in the second half I, with Mahomes. I, I, all I said he was better. I didn't say Pat Mahomes played bad in the Super Bowl. That actually is just it, it points to how well Jalen played because as well as Patrick Mahomes played, a lot of people feel that Jalen had a better game through the air and what he did. He scored three touchdowns in that game. He threw for two other touchdowns. He was he, he, um they scored in the thirties. Yeah, he I had mean, five not, touchdowns yeah. in the game, I believe. All right, that was in February. How about this? I mean, they, well, no, I'm just saying I you know, can't poo poo just... that. It's on the biggest stage. You can't just go to a game you want to because it validates your point and ignore everything else. Well, the Cowboys game was the biggest game of his career, but the Cowboys game was not the biggest game. Of but his Jack, career. I think that I think that's why, like, even me after that game, it was like that's why expectations yeah, are what they yep, are. Yep. I'm not telling you he's playing great right now. I, I said this two weeks ago. I argued it coming off the Buffalo game. I argued it to, to the death. I can't argue that after the last two nope. games. So nope. <laughs> yeah, I can't argue well, that. Well, the biggest the biggest fear now is the whole blueprint stuff, right? From yep. from Nick, Bosa. and that's what he has to dispel. Yeah, yeah, you're right. When when and and Nick Bosa is saying that because that's what he believes. Yep, like that's what he truly believes. Now. The Eagles, Jalen, they got to do something. So, the, and this is where, and we'll go to the phones. But this is where your 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 comment about coaching. Mm-hmm. This is where the coaches need to get some get him comfortable. Yeah. This is where they need to come out and say, you know what? Let's get the ball out of because Jalen's is his best when he's in rhythm. When like sometimes maybe running pace, you know what I mean? Like just like get up to the line of scrimmage. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Like when he's doing. Five step drops and he's back there looking around and then he sees the pass rush that's coming. Mm-hmm. So now he's worried about that. Now he's rolling out or rolling left. Now he can't go up the middle because they're looking for him to do that. Right? Like this is what the offense has become. Plus he runs out of the pocket too much. Too much and too early. Yeah, and, and defense is basically waiting for him to run out of the pocket. That's what they now. want. Yeah. And he went through a period of stretch during the middle of the season when he couldn't run, mm-hmm. where he was stepping up and he was throwing the ball great. He was I mean, it, I was impressed. I was yep. impressed with it. Yep. And I like it. By the way, like, I don't want him to run. I don't want I want him to scramble when it's there to take yards. I don't need designed runs. Mm-hmm. I don't want designed runs. On the fumble, he took a shot on that play. Yeah. He, he did. Like I don't need I don't need them to try. It almost seemed like they were desperate on Sunday to they, move the ball that they, they said. Were. Yeah. Well, have him throw the ball then. Hand off to a running back. Well, they need to run the ball. Well, maybe they don't like the running backs as much. I would it's hard to argue with that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, maybe they don't like the running backs as much. It's hard, it's hard to argue with that at this point. 